Something about Margaret Thatcher, one of the most bizarre things, I was actually living in the UK at the time, Margaret Thatcher actually passed a law through Parliament that banned Jerry Adams and your voice on television. So you would see uh, Martin's mouth moving, but somebody would be saying Martin's, the same words that Martin's saying, but they would talk the words. Yeah. When you first heard this, what did you think at the time, since it was one of the most bizarre things and it lasted for a number of years, the British, they would have to hire somebody to actually speak over your voice and say the same exact thing. And the second thing is, do you think it made you and Jerry universal, universally recognized in symbols around the world what Margaret Thatcher's experiment caused? Well, what, what the band showed was the fear that Margaret Thatcher and the British government had of what we had to say. Uh, I was hoping they would have got Robert Redford to do my voice. <laughs> But unfortunately, they didn't. It was someone with a Belfast accent, and I have a Derry accent, so uh, we take a wee bit of umbrage at uh, people with all our with all our accents doing it. No, but I mean, that was about fear. What what the British government didn't want was people like Jerry Adams and myself coming on the television. I mean, they used to say, you know, these people are are afraid to stand up in front of a TV camera. We weren't afraid to stand in front of any camera or be interviewed by any interviewer. Uh, in fact, the opposite was the case. But, I mean, eventually that, that strategy changed and we had the opportunity and uh, we've since moved on. I just want to say one thing about uh, the, the long case situation, which I think is very, very important. Uh, Peter Robinson and I have recently taken a decision that the long case prison where the hunger strikers died is going to be a major centre for peace and reconciliation. And we made an application to the European uh, Union and they have granted us 18 million pounds to build a new iconic building on that site, which will be dedicated solely to peace building and conflict resolution. And I know there's, we've talked to President Obama about this, there's huge interest here in the United States amongst many universities throughout the world Simply, the, the, the point of doing that is obviously that we can use that to show the importance of peace to other conflict situations throughout the world. I've been to Sri, Sri Lanka. Uh, I've been to Baghdad at the height of the war, at the request of warring factions. I was there with Cyril Ramaphosa, who was chief negotiator for Nelson Mandela, and uh, Rolf Meyer, who was chief negotiator for... F.W. de Klerk, and uh, we've been to the Basque country, we've been to the Middle East, we've had very large delegations of Iraqi politicians and Afghan politicians come to Belfast, and we think it's important that we have such a centre where people can come and learn from our experiences. Now, I say that knowing that no two conflicts are the same, but th there is a very, very important lesson to be learned. And the important lesson that was learned in our conflict is that there is no prospect whatsoever of getting a resolution to the conflict unless all of the participating forces within that conflict are represented at the negotiating table.